Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to start a project. So first I'm going to add project in a SOAP UI. So I'm going to create a SOAP project. I have Vizdal and the name of the project is country details. So that is the Vizdal which I'm going to use. You can get this Vizdal in the attach document. So here it's scanning the Vizdal and once the scanning is over, it lists all the functionalities this web service is providing. So as of now, I'm automating a project. It is for complete word and we can get all the countries in the world. We can get country code that the standard country code apart from it, the currency code that we can get. So we have the different currency code like the dollars, pounds. So these kind of currency code we can get over here. We have get all currencies means it will return currency of complete word. So here we can see it display all the country's name in the word with the currency. We have many other functionalities as well. So we are going to automate this web service. So what we are going to do, we are going to create multiple test suites. First test suite we are going to create is for smoke testing so i'm creating a first test suite is smoke testing suite okay so now i want to add all the services in this test suite so i'm coming to the get countries right click on that add to test case and which test case you want to add i'm adding a test case in the smoke test suite and that is I'll say smoke case, right? Get. So as of now, we have only one test case in test suite. So in the same way, I'm adding other services like get country by country code. So I'm giving country code like us i'm running it first i'm checking that it's working fine or not yes it's working fine so i'm adding this request to my test case again add to test case and test case was same so that is step two and then country by code so here we have one test suite which is smoke test suite I'm adding all the services to one test case. We will run this test suite and check my services. My all the functionalities are working fine or not. The smoke, we only cover that the functionalities are running or not. We are going to create few more test suites in which we are going to cover that uh, expected response we are getting or not. But here aim is to just to run this test suite and to check services are running or not. So for that, what I'm doing, I'm adding all the services to smoke testing suite and we are going to execute this test suite from the command prompt conditionally conditionally means uh, we will maintain an xls file and on the behalf of the execution status either yes or no we are going to execute this so as of now we have only two test steps i'm going to get country by currency code and again my country code is us i'm running it and it's running so i'm adding it again to my test case so step three and then country by currency code country by currency code in the same way That is for all currencies, that is getting all currencies. So I'm adding it to my test case and then step four all currencies. So my four steps are added. Then get currency by country. So here I'm passing. Canada, 
yes we are getting the data so i'm adding it to my test case and that is step five and that is get currency by country get currency by country moving to the next service so here i'm just running it to check it is working fine or not yes i'm adding it to the my test case and that is step six and that is get currency code get currency code so moving to the next part that is get currency code by currency name so i'm checking it with the dollar and here we see we are getting countries so i'm adding this to my test case again that is step seven currency code by country name currency code by c o n t name moving to the next country name i need to pass and it will return the gmt so again i'm passing canada i'm running it and here it returns gmt 3.5 hyphen 8 so adding it to my test case that is step 8 get gmt by country adding it so two more services are pending i'm adding that as well here country name i'll pass canada again and it will return the isd code of that so we can check it yes we are getting that as one adding it to the test case so step name is step nine and at the last i'm adding my last functionality in the smoke testing as well so that is okay so i'm adding it to the get iso country code by country name so that is step 10 and get iso code by country name so all the services that my application is providing or i'll say all the services that my web service is providing we have added that into the smoke test suite or we can say smoke test case i'm just trying to running it to check everything is working fine or not so running it again so here we see all the steps are getting passed 